Hi, for those of you who don't know us, we're Jim and Barb Eichner, and it was our privilege to represent St. Mark's at annual conference this year. In previous years, around 800 California Nevada Methodists gathered over three days to renew community connections, join powerful worship through shared songs and stories, celebrate new clergy and loved ones who died over the past year, and complete the business of approving budgets and committee rosters. This year, it was all on Zoom, with perhaps 500 participants. We missed the family reunion, meals with old friends and new, and 800 voices singing hymns together. This year, conference necessarily focused more narrowly, but that offered the opportunity to go deeper, especially in teaching. The sessions were recorded and most were posted on YouTube. Links can be found on the conference website, and we'll show you those links at the end of this. Worship is always a big part of ACS. This past weekend offered six different times for devotion and worship with the theme, and know that I am God. For us, the highlights were the Saturday morning devotion, Black Lives Matter and Racial Equality, especially the segment presented by our own Masia Evans, and the Sunday service of ordination, which included a powerful sermon from Bishop Carcano. The other great highlight for us was the laity session on Friday afternoon for lay members, ordinary Christians like us. Conference lay leader Michelle Pope gathered a panel for conversation around the experience of being minority because each minority experience is different. The group of six speakers spanned at least race, sex, age, sexual orientation, immigration experience, native or Hispanic culture, religious background, and military service, and I probably missed some. Michelle asked three simple questions. How do you describe yourself? When did you first know you were different? What should the church do in the present conflicts? Many leaders have recommended books for individual or group study in the church, but we found this one hour and 20 minute conversation more powerful than any book group among people like us because we were allowed to listen in to see the world through their eyes. They gave us the opportunity to see our shared world more completely. What was offered was a model of productive conversation across difficult boundaries. Michelle recommended that each of us try to have the same conversation with people as different from us as we can stand. We would add, the same questions asked among those who imagine they're already alike might be surprising. Who are you? When did you first learn you were different? What should we do now? That conversation might allow you to grow strong enough to have the conversation with someone from the other side of our routine boundaries. We always feel refreshed and restored by our time at ACS and hope that spending some time with the recorded sessions might allow you the same. And now here are the links, the web addresses we mentioned earlier. You can find each of the YouTube segments from them. Thank you for watching today. Goodbye.